When's the last time you've left a negative comment? I've never done it. Car, get out of here. Don't do it. You've never left a negative comment no. ever in your teenage no. years of life well, online. We, we didn't have like social media too much until we got yeah, a little bit true, older, true, right? So I'm so sure I wouldn't. Bad oh, oh, 100%. Like if social media existed when we were young, I'm trying to think. I would have been canceled before the age of 18 or 19. Like the fact that it doesn't, I'm so thankful for. But no, like since since social media has been okay, around, because well, we, we got it relatively late, yeah, right? Like yeah. we were in our 20s at that point. Um, yeah, like I can't re- – I'm sure that, that if there is one out there, I, I want to find. We've got a no, no, it's not a, here. It's not a saint. <laughs> it's just I'm too lazy. Like yeah. I can't be bothered. By, yeah, 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 yeah. To me, like it would feel gross right. that I'm doing that, right? Like that, That's cool, man. Like I don't know, but, but it's not That's like cool. because like trying to like – be no, above no, it no. or anything. I know, I know, I know, but I, know. I can hear the sincerity in your No, voice. no, it's just more around like, yeah. all right, well, what's going on with me right now if I'm at the point now yeah. where I've got to write a write a hate comment to somebody that I don't really know. Well, right. well I only do it to my friends and people that I care about. Heaps of hate comments. Where's like, the that's only, where I where is, that's where, where I provide is, them all. <laughs> look, well, let, let me represent the imperfect humans right. that exist. What have in you the world. been doing? Okay, let me, what have let, you been <laughs> what have you been putting hate comments on? I went through a period of my life where I wrote a lot of hate comments. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> <laughs> and I read a lot of hate comments uh, in, in chat that was yeah. uh, based around games. Ah, okay. So I'd be playing games like League of Legends, yeah. okay? Yeah. So I remember a period of my life where I was deep into League of Legends and I would write so many hate comments when my team members don't perform well. Okay, oh, yeah, so yeah. when my team's playing poorly, yeah. and I because and I, it, it's teams of five, so yeah. it's five versus five in League of Legends, yeah. and I would always play with one of my cousins. Right, shout out to my cousin Hung, yeah. and then three others would always be paired up with three random people. Hung and I are pretty damn good at League of Legends, yeah. Yeah. and we always get paired up with guys who are <laughs> kind of shitty. So then, when they get the basic things wrong, yeah. Hung and I unleash. Mm. It's like, what the hell? Did you guys only learn how to play today? Yeah. Like, what the frick? Why did you even like? Again, in the game, you take lanes. We're like, why did you even choose that lane if you don't know how to play that lane? Why would you choose that role if you don't know how to play that role? Why would you even choose that character if you don't know how to play that character? And some people will be like, oh no, I'm just trying to try out some new characters, bro. <laughs> we're like, nah, dude, you're so shit of it. You should never play again. And we were so angry. And the, the amount of hate that came yeah. out of me was un, un, unreal. Yeah. The reason why I bring this up as an example is I want to dissect it. Mm. So you, you're saying that in those moments when I was saying yeah. the nastiest shit to other yeah. people, and generally they were like yeah. 12 year old kids and I feel yeah. terrible about yeah. it now. You're saying it's more of a reflection on me. <laughs> well, the fact, that, so? the fact that you couldn't There's- fill in a team of five, so there's only you and your cousin. <laughs> yeah. It's probably the first indicator of where you're at. Yep, yep, the, yep. The, the, there wasn't a squad built out. There was no, so, squ- there was no one else wanted to play with us. 100% be reflecting on that at that point okay. in your time. Okay. <laughs> Earlier in the pod, you mentioned that you had no friends. Yeah, I did. Right? Yeah. Probably another reflection. Like since I've known you, you yeah. haven't exhibited any of those traits yeah, I haven't. over the last 10 years. No, and I haven't. I think, yeah, I think I haven't. you're more in alignment with what you were saying before about being a very generous, mm. connected, family oriented. So you think that stemmed from me, that stemmed from not having my own platoon to play I, the game I with? I think so. And right, because do, do you also remember how some people yeah. say, when someone comments something nasty, mm-hmm. it's more of a reflection of what's going on in their internal 100%. world. So what the hell was going on in my, in my internal world for me to give 12 year old shit on a game? <laughs> Probably a combination of like- Loneliness. Were, maybe, right? Starving connection. Wanted, wanted to feel like superior maybe, you know? Right. Because you win. were good at it, you were master. Well, like, I wanted to win. Yeah, you wanted to win competitiveness. Yeah, right, right. right. I think that's probably very natural for especially teenage boys when they're- No, I was in my early 20s. Right, so I was definitely in my sorry, mid-20s. I got the, I got the age wrong. mid-20s. Got the, got the age wrong a little bit. It's <laughs> so a mid-20s, yeah. like yeah. Yeah, in that sort of 15 to 30 age. Yeah, 15 to 46 <laughs> we'll just, Yeah, we'll age range. <laughs> a little bit, right? But I think it's also oh. part of our evolution and development, right? right? Like if I think back to when I was a teenager, like we always laugh with my childhood mates and they're like, Ali, you were such a piece of shit when you were like yeah. a teenager and growing up, right? Like I would do- because my house was headquarters because mm. my mom would work night shift and go away. So there'd be eight of us around there. And like, I'll do messed up stuff. Like we had a court case with one of my friends, Tim. We literally locked him out of the house for a six month period. So every time he would come over, there'd be a sign saying, no, Tim's allowed. Oh, dude, that's right? so mean. Because he hadn't paid one of the other guys $2 that he owned him from a packet of cigarettes. Right. And that just continued on. Now, if I reflect on that, that's not, that's not positive behavior. And now like, if that's I really, really dig deeper, that's like asserting power, mm. control, very 
very unrefined leadership qualities at that point, mm. probably not being a great friend. Like these are just things as I think we evolved, but that was like those types of behaviors, even with friends and how like, you know, oh, you owe me this, you know, you, you borrowed this last time. You can't have this food. Like all these things were just more reflections of like internal fears or where we're at or wanting control. Like right. if, if you look back at it now, yeah. that's probably the behavior, right? But just didn't have, and then you build that awareness. And I think we both have tried over the years to build awareness and try to evolve beyond mm. that person. I don't know if you're still doing that. Well, in, no, I mean, in I'm, chat I'm, groups or not. I'm just trying to, no, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> I don't play games anymore. I've got, well, I've karma, got karma came now. back. Yeah, karma yeah, came yeah, back yeah, when yeah. you got 5 million followers and you're like, these comments aren't really all that yeah, nice. Well, it's come back in, in, in a lot more volume than what I'd put out. <laughs> yeah, you did to three there was people. definitely an exponential. <laughs> yeah, there's actually an exponential curve with the amount of hate that's going back that's my hilarious. way. Shit, karma's exponential. <laughs> yeah. That's scary. Yeah. No, but the thing that I want to truly understand, yeah. and it's why I'm talking about this, yeah. I'm trying to understand it while we're talking. Yeah. Is when people say that the negativity that people put out is often a reflection of the negativity that's going yeah. on in their life. That's right. And I'm just trying to reflect on my period of life, that point. That was when I wasn't achieving much success in my life. I didn't have a partner. You're right. I didn't have many friends outside of the game. I didn't have anything else going for me. So my negative reaction, the reason why it was so strong was because I had nothing else going for me in my life. And my life outside of that game was kind of depressing. Mm -hmm. It was kind of depressing. And, and the only place I could get validation that I was doing life well mm. was when at the end of the 45 minutes of the game, it said victory. And when I don't get that victory, because I wasn't getting victory anywhere else in my life. Mm -hmm. So I think that crazy reaction came as, as a result of, I overvalued something that wasn't actually that important. Yep. So I think when you get hate on your videos, on your comments, on your posts, mm -hmm. or in life in general, understand that negativity comes from negativity. That's right. So they are obviously in a negative place, in a dark place, and usually a shitty place. Mm -hmm. That's why shitty things are coming out of their mouths yeah. is because they're in kind of a shitty place. Mm -hmm. Bad breath only comes from a shitty mouth, <laughs> right? Right? That's your, that's your um, that, that's, yeah, that's that, my that, quote. That's there's my a quote. quote. Yeah. 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 Well, well, like, like if your breath smells like shit, yeah. then you probably have shit in your mouth. <laughs> Um, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no. Yeah. no, no I'm not riding along in this one, but yeah. <laughs> no, but I'll, I'll hold space for you. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the best I can do. Me, <laughs> if someone's Skip. saying something negative, they're, 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 they're existing in a negative environment. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. And, 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 and that's what I hope people see, because if you can see mm -hmm. the full picture, yeah. you'll take that comment with a grain of salt. That's right. right. Whereas if you just see the comment for the comment and you're picturing that person who left the comment mm -hmm. as – a 35 year old, fully functional, positive, That's right. like a, a, a person who's a great contributor to society left that negative comment, generally not the case. Yeah. Generally someone who's in a place of suffering. And, and even when I sort of said what I said before around like you are the problem, I think it's also, it, it was more a pattern break to shine light on that because sometimes when we're in that space, we can't see it, mm. right? We might actually have a belief that we're adding value, that yeah. we're doing the right thing that, you know, that- we're so enlightened that we can provide this high quality level of feedback to somebody, you know, as they, yeah, yeah. as they try to progress down their own journey. And I think that's just more about shining that light of awareness, but then also mm. on the flip side, if you are the receiver of those comments, and I think you've done this really well, is that you can shine compassion onto it, mm, right? Because yeah. that, the reality yeah, there also is that you're right. It, it might not be somebody who is like they're still in their emotional development. It yeah. might be a 12 year old kid Could be. that writes you that comment. And yeah. then if you just respond reactively, Mm. Like you don't really know who you're responding to and who you might be shattering. And then mm. it, I think it just becomes another exponential loop, right? And as you said before, hurt people hurt people, Yeah. right? Yeah. So it's how do you then infuse- Compassion. Yeah, Empathy. compassion into things. And you turn that negative into a positive mm. a little bit more. Well, it, uh, it, it lessens its impact yeah. when you look at it through the lens of compassion. Yeah. There was a, there was a music, there's a musician that I follow and he made a video just over the weekend mm -hmm. and his video- it was a really sad video. He's got, he's got, he's such an incredible musician, but the comments on his videos are overwhelmingly negative mm. and it's to do with his looks. Yeah. So what, like, and then he made a video about it, how self-conscious he feels now. And the reason he hasn't been posting as much recently is because overwhelmingly the comments are comments like this and he, he posted them. It was really sad. It's it, people go, Oh, what a shame. If only he was better looking, you know, 
you know, he's never going to make mm. it because he's fat. Yeah. And all these comments, it's actually really sad. And I left him a really big positive comment. Yeah. I, I took a long time to craft yeah. it. But, it. but I know that the number of positive comments, they don't outweigh mm. just what, like you can get 10 of the ones written from like me and you just get one negative one and it hurts 50 times worse. Yeah. And, and, but, but I think what you just gave is a really cool little solution there is to lessen the impact of the negative, look at them with the lens of compassion and empathy. Mm -hmm. it, it lessens its negativity. Yeah. It lessens it. It's still there. I still think the best case is don't look at it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, just don't even look at them. Or, or if yeah. you are, like just look for objective controllables. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take out what could be infused with- That's hard though too. Negative emotion, That's right? Really it's very though. difficult That's to very do. very right? difficult like to Like if someone's like, hey, yeah. you could improve this and it might actually be a real thing, then maybe it's worth listening to. But again, mm. you've probably got people in your own internal network that you can go and find those improvements yeah, yeah. from in a much kinder way.